why do we define a matrix times a vector the way we do? It's certainly not a very intuitive definition. So what's it good for? In section 1.1 and section 1.2, we looked at systems of linear equations. In section 1.3, we made the observation that any system of linear equations can be rewritten as a vector equation and vice versa. So if you start with a system, you can rewrite it as a vector equation. Or if you start with a vector equation, you can rewrite it as a system. Now, due to the way we defined matrix vector products in section 1.4, the left-hand side of this equality can be rewritten. It's a linear combination of vectors and a linear combination of vectors can be rewritten as a matrix times a vector. So now we have three different ways of expressing the same thing. A system of linear equations is the same thing as a vector equation which is the same thing as a matrix equation. Now, it might seem like that's kind of redundant, but there are situations where a matrix equation will be easier to work with than these, or situations where a vector equation will be convenient. So each of these three things represents the same equation, but one might be more or less convenient than the other, depending on the problem at hand.